In the criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. I swear to God, this is a goddamn shame. This is what happens when you got these goddamn stupid cryptocurrency miners and you got these stupid ass uh, scalpers scalping everything. So you remember the last videos I made, I was able to get 230 90 FTW3s. These people are freaking camping out here. They're literally camping out. They got the tent and everything. Wow. Look at this. Notice to customers. In order to ensure that more customers have the opportunity to purchase video cards, Microsoft is restricting it to one per customer every 30 days. Damn. Yeah, fix the seat. Or, I mean, pull the seat up. Be real careful, cause I, and make sure you don't crash into any of these old ass motherfuckers. Yeah, I sit in there. I'm fucking taller than you. I uh, know. You you act like uh, fucking King Kong got out of this thing. How about uh, these <coughs> doesn't have power to tilt? Fuck BMW. Yeah. <laughs> like like, why would you even tell me that shit? Why, why would you already know how I'm gonna? I, you you know I thought we were going shopping for a Range Rover, and you up there telling me about goddamn BMW. That's what, that, yeah, well, that's emissions regulations. That's what they do. Yeah, you know, you gotta go, all right, now be very careful. Watch out for these fucking old ass white people. I, I, oh, I mean, these old geriatric folk who drive their cars late at night. Yeah, but it's, it's a different, it's a different, uh, it's a different muffler system, and I don't want my shit that loud, but go ahead. Hurry up. Like you ever let somebody use your car for a second to drive it because they never drove a car and then and then you worry? Yeah. Oh, see? It. Yo! Jesus Christ. It's like are you just, he never drove a Jeep SRT before, and I gotta worry about him driving this fucking thing. Look at this guy. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, now I gotta tell, I see, I, I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him. Yo, wind down the window. No, this is what you do. See, I, I forgot to tell you this. Push it in sport mode. Just pull that shit back one time. You see that, you see that, the checker flag? Yeah. Now, now do that same drive around there again. It feels like faster. It is because there's no wheel spin. Go ahead, drive, do it. And watch these stop signs. Go, yeah, yeah, you good. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, wait, was this somebody there? Yeah, don't hit none of these goddamn old people. Goddamn old people. This is his car. He better not wreck my shit. I'm going to take his car. I'm going to sell it for it. Okay. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. It's in sport mode, right? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Make sure this nigga don't crash into this fucking fence. <laughs> Somebody's got a slow-ass Camaro here. Huh. I don't know if there's a big difference, but you can turn that dial and you can put it in track mode. But I, you see, the problem is there's not enough space to really drive yeah, as if you're I'm not going to feel it. Yeah, well, go ahead. Just don't hit nobody. I have to say, of all the fucking cars I've ever bought, that's my favorite. The Charger I liked, it's just too small. It's just too small for me. I need that. Yeah, make sure you don't hit that fence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I know there's a difference. Mm-hmm. 
Most people, I, I had let one of my friends drive this thing, and as soon as he drove this, he's like, yeah, I got to get a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yo, honestly, I, uh... And you see how much space there is behind you? Oh, I can sit right behind myself. You could sit behind yourself. That's the reason why I was done with charges and 300s. This is the best shit I ever fucking bought. Uh, yeah, because nah. I don't know. I thought it would. It the reason it's like, faster is because it's all wheel drive. Yeah, I noticed that. It oh, drives so. like, a, like a freaking car. It does. And no, but when you get this shit up to like 110 and shit, man. You feel the weight? No, feel no, weight? no, no, no. It feels lighter. That's how it that feels even feel. lighter. And then when you drive the fucking Trackhawk, the Trackhawk or the, the Jeep, no, the Durango Hellcat, as big and heavy as these fucking things are, these things feel lighter than that car because of the all-wheel drive and all of the wheels you know pulling. What it is? I don't, I, no, I, sometimes I punch it like from a dead stop, but you got that little sideways. But this right here? There's no sideways. Like, There's no sideways. It just goes. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I think I'm going to keep this thing indefinitely. I'll just wait till they make another car and I'll get another car. But I like, but I, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for them to obsolete the 300 and the Charger mm -hmm. and see what they make next. Other than that, I love this car. I keep this oh, shit this clean as fuck. Nice, I keep it as clean as fuck. I love this car. And it's paid off, too. Uh, that's even better. Yeah. So all I got to do now is pay gas, insurance, and a fucking Mopar warranty. And that's like it. Oh, they got the AMG. Cool. Oh, yeah, but that's the thing. So, uh-oh, he's going to show off. He's going to show off. He's got he's got uh, the twin turbo V8. He's going to show off the twin turbo V8 for me. I already know he's going to try to burn out of some shit because he already know we're watching. He's got, to, he's got to show off for his chick. He's got to. At this point, it's 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 absolute necessity. Uh-oh, uh-oh, rev those turbos. Rev those turbos. We got to hear that shit. Buy turbo. Buy, buy turbo. We don't even say twin turbo. We say buy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, show off. Do it. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, baby, it's got over 500 horsepower. What's that, like 550? Yeah, something like that. That shit must be a fucking rocket. Yeah, but any, like, a fucking Hellcat is faster than that shit. Of course. And cheaper. Way cheaper. That's some Batman shit. See, that's the problem. The Germans can't, they can't brag no more. The only thing they got that's fast now is like you got to pay three hundred thousand dollars for a McLaren, or you got to buy a Bugatti for three million. It's like they they can't brag no what more. About the AMG GT sixty three. How fast are those? Six hundred. It doesn't matter. Our, well, a a fucking a Hellcat is seven hundred ninety fucking seven now. It doesn't even matter. Like they can't brag no more. That's why they hate Mopar now because they can't brag. All of this shit is slow. <laughs> Maybe she did. Maybe he's a simp. I don't know. <laughs> simp ass. You know that meme with the white? Like, a lot of these. No, listen. A lot of these women be abusing these guys, man. And don't, don't keep in mind. Don't let these men suffer in silence. These simp's. I, I said, don't let these <laughs> simp's suffer in silence. You know, for for just twenty cents a day, you can sponsor a simp and keep him from getting his ass whipped by his wife. For just twenty dollars a day, you can sponsor this simp. So the guy was telling me um, that, yeah, he had 315s on the back, but these cars, like, all you need is 295s, but the 315s just look better. And yeah, those wheels are, I guess, it's just the wheels are small. Yeah. And those are 20s, though. Those are 20s, but they look like 19s because of all that space. That's why everybody tries lowering the fucking stance and everything. I, I don't that, advise that because of the, the drives it. that you got to exactly. do. It. You can't do that shit. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's not like you're just driving around Long Island. Most of these guys, the bottom of their car is all fucked up. That's why I don't do that mod shit. Because all it takes is one fucking pothole to tear all that shit off. I yep. seen it. Yeah. I seen it. I seen it just like that, that wicker built thing in the front or whatever. Well, the or that's the one back there. But the, it, this is called a chin spoiler. 
I've seen I seen dudes with these on the 300s and they tear them shits like right through the middle. That's one of the reasons. That's why I don't want to lower. Yeah, it's like I don't fuck with that stuff. Yeah, it's cute and all, but at the end of the day, I don't want to have to go back to the repair and, shop. And, and first of all, it'll rip your bumper off, I'm sure. So. And let me let me also say this: what you really should do, your uh, radar detector, have somebody wire that into this yes, part, I, the 12 volt. Wire. So this way you don't have those horrible wires. Yeah, I, I hate that. Too. Man, this thing is dirty. No, no wonder is. why you wanted to watch it. Yeah, black, there's black cars, man. Yeah. <laughs> that 300, man, I was washing that shit like every other day. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah, usually I'm Black cars. Out. Can't have black yeah, cars matter. Car. Black cars matter. I got that silver. <laughs> I got that silver right there. That shit could stay dirty. You don't even fucking know. Yeah, that shit nice, stay man. dirty. Everybody who looked into these cars when that Jeep SRT came out, that's the one they wanted. And even with these track cars, people are buying those things used because they know that that's an all-year-round, all-wheel drive, exactly. use it all the time. So if you're going to get fucked for gas prices, you might as well do it right, you know? Have one of these and driving that 200 fucking miles back and forth, you're getting the same mileage for the most part. Same well, mileage. I, well, when I got to the But city, the difference is the comfort. Yeah. Comfort. The comfort level. This, this is but it's not that like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, but that's just that. That's just yeah, that. Look, that lady right there has a Ford Mustang EV. That's like the first one I've seen out here. That's the first one I've seen on the road other than the one that I borrowed and used. Amazing. Interesting. I actually really like that car. It's just that uh, it's just not as big as uh, a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I, like Chrysler really needs to hurry up and build an electric car. But I guess they don't think there's any reason to because they're fucking selling Emmys even when gas prices are like fucking insane. So I guess they don't give a shit. That's nice. This is like the, this is like the first time I actually saw the thing from behind. It's really really cool. I'm up here trying to get through traffic, and these people making it hard. Look what they did. Look what they did. Oh my God! A Jeep got taken down. Oh my God. Oh. Oh shit, this guy got the TRX. I didn't even realize he had the TRX. He's got the TRX. This guy got all up in front of me, and then I got around him. I was like, wait a minute, why is that fucking truck so god? Look how big that fucking truck is. I didn't even realize it. Yo, I didn't know you had the TRX. All of a sudden I saw you, I was like, yo, that truck is so fucking big. Wow, that's a big ass truck. Are you enjoying it? You like it? You like that shit? Oh yeah, that's awesome. Shit, yo, pull up, go. Man, I didn't know that was a TRX. I was like, wait, why is this guy so big? He's got the tire in the back and everything. That's a big goddamn truck. If I had to choose, I'd probably go for the Durango at this point. The thing about it is I already got one SUV, so it's like, you know, it's kind of hard to swap up SUV for another SUV. It's kind of hard. Oh, this chick behind me with this BMW, she's been behind me for a while. She's been behind me for a while, so. Sexy black chick right here with this BMW. She must be, I don't know how much, she must be making some serious bag. Come on, honey, pull on up, pull on up. Show me that beautiful hair. We, we only do, we only do real hair around here. Come on, honey. 
Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Come on. She got the X6. She all sexy up in there. It's summertime, sexy. She look at that little X6 next to that. Oh, oh, we got the big truck. Yes, big trucks. Yeah. Look at this, look at this. Is she in there singing or some shit? I don't know. She must be singing some songs or something. I don't know. Yeah, so this, when you live the SRT life, it's like every, every, even a drive to Walmart is just fun. I'm going to throw on my adaptive cruise control so that I can easily just coast in traffic, not have to worry about hitting none of these losers. It's the TRX. Not those boring Ford Raptors. And those boring GM Colorados and those whatever those trucks are. I don't even I don't even remember their names. They're so boring. But it was so weird because when this guy was he was behind me, I didn't even realize what he was until <coughs> until like I looked back and I was like, "Wait a minute. Why is that fucking truck so giant goddamn big?" And then I saw the uh hood scoop and then I realized I was like, "Oh, that's a TRX." It's too bad that they didn't give the Trackhawk a fucking hood scoop. Those stupid bastards over a Jeep that fucked up everything. But I digress. They gave the Durango a hood scoop. They gave it an appropriate Hellcat hood. They gave the TRX an appropriate Hellcat hood. But not the Trackhawk. Why? It was like they were determined to ruin a product. It's incredible. It's just incredible. They call us the 10 mile per gallon club right here. Look at that guy. See, that's the beautiful thing about having adaptive cruise control. I don't have to worry about looking behind me and crashing into somebody because the car handles it for me. Look at this. Here she is again. Here she is. This guy's speeding. I got the stupid Prius next to me. Stupid, stupid Prius. Slow. Slow ass Prius. But see, that, you know, the ramp, that Ram truck is so cool. It just looks so regular, though. I mean, they. They should have put the Hellcat badges on the side of it. Everything else I'm okay with, but they should have thrown them Hellcat badges. Yo, you know what you should do? Go on eBay and get the Hellcat badges from the Durango and put it on the side. Huh? You gonna make something? All right. All right. See, when you're an SRT club, we can just have random conversations in the middle of traffic. But that's what, it's, that's what the real SRT life is about. People actually stop and have conversations about cars right in the middle of traffic during rush hour. That's what the SRT life is all about. So, oh, my ears. Oh, my God. SRT club. We, we, have, we have whole goddamn conversations right in the middle Right in the middle of traffic, why not? It's very unfortunate that because of the uh, silicon chip shortage, that right now the S-Class, which normally would have been here, is not here yet. So one thing I noticed, the supply is dwindling. Too bad. There's really not that many cars. It's like, it's mostly just SUVs. They don't have many uh, car cars. Like, there's no S class. It's not that many. But inventory is real low. Oh shit, they have a ramp that raises up. That's cool. But yeah, their, their inventory is low. There's not a lot of cars. I think I think what it was was they started focusing on just SUVs. But most of the 
most of the car cars are gone. Hmm. Yeah, not very much inventory. So it looks like we've got to keep on waiting for the uh, S-Class to get here, the new one. Here's my thing. Why did people, Why is it that they keep on messing up the C-pillar of these cars now? Cadillac did that nonsense. It's like, why can't you just have one continuous line? It's like that stupid hunch shit. Yeah, it may work on a Buick, but I, I don't think that works so good on anything else. This is the GLB. Oh, they locked them up because of the pandemic, so they don't they don't want you getting in there because they don't want you spreading your germs. But I gotta say, these uh the new interiors, the the interior of this generation right here, this is easily the best interior generation ever in like any car ever. I mean what's amazing about this car is this car looks better than the Maybachs from like two thousand three. And it's just so amazing that they were able to pull off an interior this nice. And it's like, once they make all these cars electric, it's going to be even better. But I have to say, Mercedes has the best cars. Forget BMW. I will say this. I did like Audi's e-tron. I really did like it. But um, it was a little too small because, you know, again, it was, it was kind of about the size of a BMW 5 GT. But, uh, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I liked it. It was comfortable and everything. It had heated, cooled seats, and it was electric. But they need to have uh, a 300 mile range on these things in order to really. And then give us, please fucking give us goddamn cooled and fucking heated seats so this way I don't have to worry about my ass getting fucking hot. Goddamn. Yeah, but that's just what it is. So, <laughs> can't, can't complain too much. How much is this thing? This, this is, uh, what is this? This is the new GLA. So, this is like the cheapest car they got. Or this is like one of the cheapest SUVs. This is 4489, which is not bad. If I was a little woman or something, I would feel very, I would feel very uh, stylish if I was a little woman and I had this car or if I had that GLB, if I was a little woman, you know? Like there's a, a realtor, Chinese girl named Michelle G on uh, YouTube and she just got one of these and she's a small chick. So in this, she must feel like she's king, queen of the world. But uh, yeah, well, cool. Yes, yeah, so this person right here, she's got the E-Class. See, black people spending that money now. You know, I used to say BMW stands for black man working. It's like, yeah, but Mercedes said, yeah, we want y'all over here, people. Bring that black money. There's no S-Classes. There's usually S-Classes out here. Damn. It's nothing but fucking SUVs. It's boring. And then you're right next to a Lexus, which is even more boring. Sucks. This guy's got an X6. New X6. I'm not into BMW, though. I really I, I think their cars suck. I think their interiors suck. They're slower than... <laughs> oh, here's, see, here's an S-Class right here. Yeah, this guy's got a nice one. What the hell are y'all talking about? That's a nice one. What y'all talking about? I, I don't speak Haitian. What the hell are y'all talking about? This one's got a brown interior. This is nice. This is like the only one here. I think they sold all the rest of them. But that's the thing. After the pandemic, everybody was trying to sell these cars as quickly as possible. So they were giving out crazy discounts on them. Yeah, but that's about it. There's nothing really else here right now. I'm waiting to see the new. Oh, and I do want to drive the new electric Mercedes, the EQS or whatever the hell it is. I want to drive that. But I can see some happy customers right here. Got their new E-Class. Good for them. Good for them. But when it comes down to it, the S-Class is the really, that's the best car you can get. It's like if you're a very, very flashy woman, you got to get yourself this E-Class right here. That is a bad-ass sexy car. Very sexy, very luxurious. Look at this guy right here on his bike. Look at this guy. Must be like DoorDash or something. 
running them Uber Eats. What is that guy doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's FedEx. I don't know. I don't know either. This is Speed World right here. Come here and try to tune up your shitty Econo box and make that piece of garbage faster. Especially if you have a Honda Accord with a CVT. Get off that phone, girl. Get off that phone. Stop texting. Stop that texting. You're gonna get people killed out here. Get off that. Wait a minute, is that a cop? No, she's not. Get off that phone, girl. It's a nice day out here. This girl will not get off that damn phone. Maid Brigade? What's that about? All this goddamn traffic. But you know my solution. When you're sitting in horrible traffic, you don't feel like driving, just hit that resume button right there and let the car drive itself. There we go. There we go. No pedal needed. There we go. Every car should have heated, cooled seats and adaptive cruise control. Aside from all the safety nannies, every car should have adaptive cruise control. And when these cars finally do get, look at that, it's slowing down. I didn't have to do shit. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't have to do nothing. When all of these cars get those features, it's going to be just fabulous out of here. You're going to probably have less car accidents because now you won't have idiots on their phone while uh, they're supposed to be paying attention to what's in front of them. But you won't have to pay so much attention because then the car can drive itself slow to a stop and you hear that beep, that means that it was canceled. So I got to put my foot on the uh, acceler the, the brake as soon as it says canceled. But this is the thing. If the car has lane keeping, it can automatically know to stay in the lane, start and stop, slow down. Man, you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't even have to drive. I mean, you'd have to obviously get on and off exits and everything, but you wouldn't have to do nothing. See, it's sad because Tesla's up there trying to charge you $8,000 for that shit. Meanwhile, I got it in my my Jeep Chrysler Dodge. I got it, what? I had it in my Chrysler 300 SRT back in 2012. So they're up there trying to charge all that money for some goddamn auto drive. That's some bullshit. They're, meanwhile, all it is is a bunch of sensors. It's like, you can have that for free. So all I got to do is like just take my foot off the brake and just hit that resume button. And, and that's it. The Jeep SR, this is easily the best purchase I've ever made. It does everything. It's practical. Look at this, look at this. Uh-huh, yeah, there you go. Let's, let's, let's set it up to about uh, 65 miles an hour. There we go, yeah. And we're gonna maintain, what, three car lengths behind this Honda, whatever the hell that is, a CRV or something. Just stay behind them. So they make it so easy, it's so comfortable, so easy. Worst traffic in the world, and you just relax. Yep. They, they, the cops arrested some dumbass kid for trying to uh, sit in the back seat of a Tesla while it was driving itself. So, you know, these people just don't learn. It's like every time somebody does that shit, it's like the car basically gets into a fatal car accident just for kicks. So it's like. It's like, you, you, this is cruise control. This is not self-driving. You really are supposed to be paying attention, you know? Yeah. That kid, Jesus Christ, that looks like one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's sons. Kid looks like a mongoloid. Yeah, not much going on here. Yeah, hey, what's that? Uh oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, that's that slow team, right?
interesting wrap. They've got a uh, Huracan right there. Somebody traded in their Huracan for a cheap Porsche. Cheap ass Porsche. It is this Taycans. It's like those things are so ridiculously expensive. And for what? You'd be better off getting a Tesla. Tesla's faster. And it's practical. Some people just say, oh yeah, well I gotta have a push because I'm so cool. Like, no, thank you. Now look at this guy. This guy's got a GT and it's done up so nice that you almost think it's a Hellcat from behind and go mango. So it's a GT right here and he's got orange lips on his wheels. That's cute. He's got orange lips. Here I am, I'm gonna throw on this adaptive cruise control so that this way I don't have to get my, my J's dirty. Get those retro 12s there in university gold. This is the struggle to escape from Queens back to Long Island every single day. The traffic, see it's crazy because the traffic starts as far back, like if you're coming out of Manhattan, you're coming out of Lower Manhattan, Wall Street area. It's like the traffic starts, but it really, really gets bad once you get to Queens. And once you're in Queens, man, it's like, just like her right there, you try and get the hell out of here. Put that on. Great. So yeah, that's the thing. What I do is I just throw on my adaptive cruise control and I just let her ride. This sucks but it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Yeah, so this guy's got this GT right here. He's got these orange lip wheels. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh boy, this sucks. I'm going out with this chick later gonna uh, get dinner Friday night dinner so I think she wants to go to some barbecue place or some shit but look at that it's a cop car guy's got a cage in the back of his goddamn car it's like around here you gotta watch out for these explorers and these damn tourists any Ford car you gotta watch out for them yeah it's like hey ladies y'all got a Mercedes roll up those windows and turn on that air conditioner like, why are you up there sweating in that Mercedes? Man, they look bored. They don't even talk to each other. It sucks. Yep. Anyway. Man, this sucks. But it's, it's something you got to do. You drive back to your lovely... Long Island house and you get away from all this goddamn overcrowded New York City. That's the reason why we do what we do. See, that's the thing. When they talk about segregation in New York, that's basically what they're talking about. I mean, you got Staten Island, you got Long Island. All the motherfuckers are Trump supporters. So, you know, that right there, they, that's your segregation. None of these bastards live inside the city. They come in, they get that money, and then they drive back out here to Long Island. So, so, and I, and you know what's funny? That same level of gentrification is happening in other places, especially California. You got people who are coming from the suburbs into the city, and they're trying to buy up as much of the city property as they can, because the city property, even though it's really expensive, at least they don't have to make these ridiculous long drives back out to the suburbs. So that level of gentrification is happening, and it's crazy because it's sad because most of these inner city people they think that when they get a nice good deal on a house out here in the suburbs, they think it's a good deal. But what they don't understand is they're being gentrified out. And these people will sell you that house just to get you out of the city so that they could take your place in the city. You know, it's a damn shame. But that's how it works. I mean, people are free to go wherever they want and they're free to make whatever financial moves they have to make in order to do it. The one thing I don't want to hear is uh, the, the complaining. I'm tired of hearing the complaining. But that's just what it is.
So is this the reason for all this goddamn traffic? They're, make, they're making things hard for the state troopers. Uh-oh, BMW wasted. Oh boy, oh boy. So this is what all this goddamn traffic was over. It was over a stupid car accident. You people should have been more careful. Because of you, I wasted three minutes. Jesus Christ. And sure enough, I didn't even get that much further to the damn exit, another one. It's like you people need to pay attention. Y'all wasting these state troopers. Look at that, look at that. Oh, shit. Get him, officer, get him. Oh my God, the whole bottom of that car just, just gone. Just, just gone. Damn. That's crazy. That was crazy. Look at all this goddamn traffic. Uh, how many more car accidents I gotta sit through? Let me let me say it like this. If y'all get into a car accident, y'all need to push that shit off the road and clear out this left lane so that people like me who have more important things to do than sit in traffic can make our ways where we gotta go. Y'all can't be holding up the line. It's like this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, this is really interesting. This guy, the back of his truck says SRT, and it says 4x4, which I find is really interesting because I ain't never seen an SRT that said 4x4 on the back. Not only that, I'm looking at those pipes, and uh, those pipes and those wheels, that don't look... Wait, 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 uh-oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That ain't no damn SRT. Yo, homie is... I just caught homie slapping. I, I just caught this dude slipping, man. That ain't no damn SRT. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. No, it's not. 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 I gotta say, that was that was really, really tricky work that you did, though. Only, it, You know what they say? A fisherman always sees another fisherman from afar. I'm an SRT owner. I can see you from a distance. And when I see you, something ain't wrong. Something's, I, I think there's something wrong there. It's like this guy. This guy, you thought you were slick, didn't you? You thought you were slick. Fortunately, street racing prevention units out here on full patrol. This guy thought he was slick. You driving around in a V6 with dual pipes. This guy. I gotta say, this is the shittiest fucking track. Like, I've been in this shit for 57 minutes. I'm almost to this chick's house. This sucks. This really, 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 really sucks. But uh, I've only got about, I think about two miles. No, I think about one. No, about two miles. Yeah, I got about two miles. Look at this Honda cutting me off. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Now, see, it's a good thing that my adaptive cruise control wasn't programmed by me because normally it would have accelerated and slammed into the back of him. But uh, fortunately, it doesn't do that. You know, God forbid there was a hacker that, you know, hacked the program and made it destroy Japanese Sakano boxes that cut you off. But, you know, fortunately for you, that didn't happen. This guy cutting me off. Anyway. Uh-oh, look at this. Damn, who drives to those steel wheels on a damn Versa, man? My God. Look. Look at all these Honda Civics. Like one, two. You got a blue one, you got a black one. I think I've probably passed about seven of them. See, the reason why I don't like it if people put a fake badge on their car and say it's an SRT when it's not is because some asshole with one of these goddamn Civics is gonna race you and win. And then they'll say, yeah, them SITs is slow. Them SITs is slow. I raced with it, I won. You see, and, and that really hurts my feelings. I want to make it so that they can never, ever, 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 ever try to run that bullshit on one of us. Be like, yeah, I raced this Hellcat and I beat him. It's like, no, you didn't, you liar. You raced some car that had a fake badge on it, motherfucker, you liar. And the problem is I can't call them a liar because technically they're right. They thought that they raced a Hellcat. Or they thought they raced an SLT, but it turned out to be a fake badge. This is the reason why badges are important. Hellcat hoods are important. Nothing else should have a Hellcat hood or a Hellcat badge unless you got the Hellcat engine in it and the supercharger. Otherwise, one of these losers and one of these Ford Fusions will think that they beat you 
Well, and they say, yeah, your car is slow. I raced one of you guys on the Southern State Parkway, and I beat the hell out of him. And I'd be like, no, you didn't, you liar. Sucks. But we, 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 it's important that all of us SRT owners do our best to police the community. So when you see these fake badges on these cars, you need to carry a screwdriver and chisel them off when nobody's looking. If you see one parked at the uh, mall and you see it's fake and you know it's fake, chisel that shit off and this way we can eliminate the possibility of um like fraud yes because fraud is a crime jesus is coming repent repent ye infidels jesus is coming soon prime realty contact me now santaiha ishmael sandy so it's important to not only repent, but to get this prime real estate, Richmond Hill for Jesus. You gotta get this prime real estate, prime real estate. Jesus is selling prime real estate. You can't get any primer than this. Repent! The bigs, they got that Rubicon 392 joint. This is all you bigs. They speak in your language. It's 2021. So look, somebody with the Tesla Model Y parks next to my Jeep. Now I think it is just so interesting how much bigger the Jeep Grand Cherokee actually is compared to one of these Model X's or Model Y's. Cause even the Model X is not as big as my truck. Uh, but I, I love electric cars. I, I love them. I love them. I really do. They're very cool. Yeah, don't hit nobody. She saw me, she saw me recording on such. Those are such cool cars, I really do. I, I just think the Model Y needs to have uh, switches, like window switches and stuff like that. Like, I think they go too cheap on the interiors. They really need to fix that up. They, they need to make it, they need to make it as uh, luxurious as possible. Otherwise, all the other car companies are gonna blow them out of the water probably wondering why I have so many of these teas. It's because it's getting hot. All right, let's Talk get about passing. This white girl right here driving this fucking Nissan. Of course it's a Nissan, naturally. She's all over this place, man. Look at this. Look at her cutting the lines and shit. Whoa, whoa, what, what, what is going on with this woman? She's all over the damn road. Yeah, look at this. Look at her. She, she think just because she got that Nissan from Smithtown, she think that give her the right to just cut people off left and right. And she, I wouldn't even notice though she hadn't done it to me. I thought it was a guy or something trying to race me. And then I realized, I was like, oh shit, it's one of these aggressive women. What is it with these women and all this masculine energy? They think they can just, look at this, in and out, in and out, in and out. This, this is a chick who likes it, in and out, in and out, in and out. And that is dangerous. You gotta go, look at, look at her, oh shit, she, yo, that, yo, I swear to God, she gonna get somebody killed out here. Where are the cops when you need them to stop these goddamn runaway Nissan rogues? Oh my God. I looked at her, she looked like a college girl up in there, terrorizing the freaking roads. Terrorizing. Absolutely terrorizing us with her horrible driving. Okay, I want to catch up to him. I want to catch up to him. Where, where is she? Where is she? Uh, so, so, like, I, I, suddenly I want, I want to meet her and, and interview her about her driving skills. <laughs> where is she? She's up here somewhere. I just don't see her. There she is. There she is, right there. There she is. God, that shit is crazy. I gotta get close. I gotta get close to her. I gotta get close to her. 
But the problem is I can't get close to her because, you know, I'm actually obeying half of the, you know, the rules. But she's not. So it's, it's really hard to catch up to her. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. Jesus Christ. Surrounded by Hondas. Damn. There she is, though. There she is. I'll land your fish. Mate, I'll land your fish. There she is. I want to catch up to her. I think I can do I think I can do it if I can get out of this goddamn traffic. This is ridiculous. This freaking traffic. She seems to prefer the left and the middle lane. So I, don't, I think if I stay in the right for a minute, I might get closer to her. Yeah, I should be able to overtake her right about... Where is she? She's here somewhere. Nah, she's probably in front of me. Where is she? Where is she? I know she didn't get off. She's here somewhere. She she refuses to stay in. Just what? Well, there she is. There she is right there. There she is. It's like, it's like hunting jaws, man. What the hell is wrong with this goddamn traffic? I'm going to catch up to her. I am going to catch up to her. I'm going to catch up to her. Oh, shit. Yo, there's a demon. What, what's this? Oh, that's not Demas. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's just a boring ass scab pack. My fault. Shit, I thought I could catch her. Nope, wait. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her because she can't, she can't stay ahead of me that much longer. There she is. There she is. She's right there. There she is. There she is. I got her. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me, let me over. Let me over. I gotta see her. I gotta see her. I got, I gotta see her. I gotta see this lady. <laughs> this lady's a worse driver than me. She, I, I, this is what happened. Up, oh, wait. There she is. There she is. I bet her name's Karen. There she is. There she is. I, I feel like the F-18 trying to track that alien UFO, and you're, you're trying, but this damn thing keeps, you know, like firing off ahead of you. It's like really, really hard. Terrible drivers in these goddamn Nissan. It's just terrible. Terrible, terrible. All right, well, I guess I'll leave her alone because uh, there's there's no way I can stay up with her. Like, I, I just can't do it. Look at this guy. Oh, shit. No, wait a minute. Is that a Hellcat or not? I think that's a regular SRT, but I can't really tell. Could be one of those super scat packs or some shit. Since they got all these stupid names now. Notice that the two loudest cars right now are the Ram truck and that, and the uh, Hellcat, or whatever that is, the Challenger. Everything else is so quiet, like these V6 Jeeps right here. This guy, this guy came ready to do some work. Yeah, that's not a Hellcat, you can tell by the wheels. It's like one of those uh, TAs. Yeah, he took the TA off the side. Yeah, the TA is allowed because they have that uh, sport exhaust baffles that open up when you're driving. So, TAs are pretty loud. It's just that if I were going to buy a Challenger, I'd probably want an all-wheel drive one. Yep. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh, 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 I think it's, I don't know if this is an accident or if they just towing something. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. What, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, not good, not good. Not good, not good at all. Well, we got a wide body here. Can't get close enough to him. Because these goddamn Ultimus, these stupid Nissans, trying to get closer to him. So I see what he got. Stupid Ultima. What's this guy got? I think that's a scat pack, yeah. There's a whole lot of wide body scat packs being sold. It's that new color. It says, why, oh you mad, oh why mad. Touch you with that gas pedal. 
<laughs> Get a little touchy with that gas pedal. Where you at? Where you at, bro? Oh, there's a red Chrysler 300 over there. But that looks like an S model. That doesn't look like the SRT model. Not bad. Some nice cars out here. I like these boring ass fucking Ultimas and Hondas in front of me. Jesus. An airplane. It says, stop Israeli war crimes on Palestine. Well, that's a very interesting way to get your point across. Hey, hey, a goddamn Zion. I know you ain't arresting me with no damn FRS. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? What's that boy doing? They're trying to raise somebody with his little fart can. Making all goddamn noise. Oh, so we don't have a car show today, but it does look like there is a flea market of some type here in Belmore. I hope for there to be a return to Belmore Nights. But fortunately, what I don't see is any of these goddamn Trump supporters out there with their stupid signs. I guess maybe they just gave up and they went home. Uh-oh. I want to listen to what she's listening to. Look at her. Holy shit. What's she listening to? There must be some good music up in there. She's up there beating her head around like she's like she's at a Guar concert. Look at this, this is Scion again. This guy. This guy. What are they selling up in there? Looks like they sell a junk, honestly. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not interested. Like, you know, let me go get that Scion. Where, where you going? Where's that Scion going? Oh, uh, okay. Of course, naturally, the Winnebago wants to jump in front of me and shit. Oh, well, he's leaving. He's leaving. Forget him. Forget him. He's, he's a small fish. He's a small fish. He's a small fish. Small fish. Small fish. Just leave him alone. Throw him back. Uh-oh. I want to get to that light. Check. Whee. Uh, damn, I love SRT products. We're the first at every light. We're the first at every light, just like this lady with the Hyundai. We're the first at every single light, folks. Chances are, if you drive... Oh, I got that old lady back there. She's up there looking at me. She's like, why is that car so fast? Is that a Chrysler 300? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's not the SRT model. That's like a uh, regular Hemo, Hemi model. Old lady in that minivan. She's like, why is that car so fast, Herman? Look at these people. I got somebody over here playing crappy music. Oh, hell, hey, at least it's Sunday, so everybody can just relax, you know. Oh, boy, look at this guy. It's Chrysler Pacifico. It's amazing how Chrysler invented the crossover with that Pacifica right there. And now, if you look at Chrysler, all they got is like two goddamn minivans. Look at this lady. She's trying to get that jump because she's got the sport badge. So she thinks she can get that jump off the light. No, you're not. No, you're not. What are you doing, lady? No, I don't think so. Not today, honey. Lady, she's like, well, my car said sport, so I thought it was fast. Chrysler invented the crossover market. They shouldn't, why did they give up on this car? If they had this, the Magnum, they didn't have to give up on these cars, man. These were great cars. Uh oh, here she is. Here she is. Here she is. She's feeling like a badass. Here she is with a sport badge. She's got a sport badge. And she's got dual tail. Uh oh. Yo, what the fuck are you doing? You're running, you're going past the light, light but what are you doing? What is it with these people? Oh, oh, I guess she figures if she gets like a head start, <laughs> she can get to the next light first. I'm going to let her sit, right? Uh-oh. No, I don't think so, honey. I don't think so, honey. Not today. Not today, honey. They told you it was fast in the dealership, but they lied. <laughs> That's right. Ah, damn it. This is so much fun. Oh, man, those people were way back then. Just like they're running past the green light and everything. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what's this? More flea markets selling garbage. Uh oh, that's some classic cars out here. Like flea markets selling trash.
kind of boring out here. There's nothing like really cool happening right now. All these used German cars nobody wants. It's like when I look at cars now, all I see is debt on wheels. That's all I see. See, when, once you pay off a car and then you start looking at these accelerated prices on used cars and you see these accelerated prices even on the new cars, it's like everything just looks just looks like rolling debt at this point. It's like I don't it's like it's not even like we're selling cars. Because the thing about it is the people aren't buying them with cash, they're financing them. So it's like all you see is like debt, just on wheels. You know? Debt on wheels. What a boring day. But at least it's nice weather. And it's calm. So this right here, this if you notice, SRT products get to that light first. Everybody else is, is just way back there. SRT products get to the light first. Always. You know? It's like we're always right at the front of the light, which is the reason why the last generation of products had a problem because we couldn't see the goddamn light. If you were the first at the light, most of the cars, their, their the roof line was so far forward until you couldn't even see the light, which is one of the problems that I had in a Hellcat where because there was no moonroof, it's very difficult to see the light, you know, and you're always first at the light. So that's an issue, you know. Shout out Jaguar, shout out Cadillac. Waiting for that lyric. Porsche still got that Huracan in there? No, they don't. Well, no, I guess they must have moved it. Yeah, oh well. The BMW dealer, this is where they got all the used car specials like S classes and all those unwanted infinities. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so I did my usual start, and you see I snatch your damn fucking knights, fuck up your game, because you don't have no knights. I have more moves than you. Oh, it, it, the analyzation is still going. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I may have to wait till it finishes analyzing the shit, because it's going to restart. Give me a second. Fuck. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is so fucked up. And so what, right here is where I pinned his, right here, I, I pinned his queen and his king with the rook and the bishop. So I fucked him up right there. Then I started getting a bunch of fucking queens after I killed his rook and there was nothing he could do. So I had four fucking queens and that was it. That was it. That was game over. That was game over. That was game over. Checkmate. To be continued.